In a market where so many stocks have run up dramatically, is there anything that still counts as a bargain? How about Parago, PRGO, the largest maker of knockoff private label over-the-counter drugs on Earth, while with a growing generic drug business and a small but solidly proprietary drug business that it picked up on an acquired Elan, an Irish pharmaceutical company, in a tax inversion deal back in 2013. Parago's stock has pulled back hard since mid-January. The stock's now roughly off a 20 points from its 52-week high. But regular viewers know that I've been a big fan of this company for years, and it's given us some terrific long-term gains. Now, even though consumers now have more discretionary income courtesy of cheaper gasoline, I think the scars of the Great Recession will keep people buying cheaper store-brand private label products like Parago's knockoff versions of uh, uh, ibuprofen rather than Pfizer's more expensive Advil. And we know that drugstores love private label products because they carry dramatically higher margins than the nationally branded stuff. Parago reported a pretty solid quarter a couple of weeks ago, but what excites me here is the company's pending acquisition of Omega Pharma, privately held Belgian over-the-counter drug maker for 3.6 billion euros in a deal that will dramatically expand their presence in Europe, and you know I think Europe's bottoming. Plus, the Omega acquisition should be immediately additive to Pergo's earnings. We know Pergo has terrific, a terrific track record of doing smart deals. This could be another great move. So let's take a closer look with Joe Papa. He's the chairman and CEO of Pergo. Hear more about his company's prospects and where it's headed. Mr. Papa, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, Jake, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Joe, I feel there's a lot of moving parts. The Parago that we first got to know when you first came on is really it's just a legacy company. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, I also feel that the company, if I look at the snapshot right now, may not be the right one to look at because you had a frontline litigation problem. You have some new products that are, it, you, you even say in your last conference call not coming out. Talk to me about Omega because that seems to be the thing I should be thinking about if I'm going to be a buyer of Parago stock. Absolutely, Jim. We're very excited about that because if you think what we've done now is that before we did the Omega transaction, we were about 80% U.S., 20% rest of the world. Now when we do this Omega transaction, after we close, we expect to close at the end of March, mm -hmm. we will be about 55% U.S., 45% rest of the world, which allows us to bring our 3,000-plus products we have in the U.S. into Europe and into some other countries around the world. We'll go from being in about six countries commercially mm -hmm. to about 38 countries. So we think that's the real exciting part for us. Right. Now, do I, uh, do I have to worry, say, I mean, I, I loved your animal health business. Suddenly there's litigation, this front line. Yeah. I don't even know where I should even try to think about something like litigation. I regard you as a plain vanilla story. Suddenly I got things I don't understand. Yeah. Well, it is true that animal health was one of the, probably about a third of the reason we had some challenges in the consumer I know, business. We love animal health. We, we show you know we love zoetis. We love all that. We, we'll prevail. We are okay. launching the product. The product is launched. We started shipping in December. Having said that, we we believe we had an exclusive opportunity for the product, uh, which obviously would be much better than a right. semi-exclusive. However, we're going to defend our intellectual property on this and in the, in the contract agreement we have. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Another thing is. I don't want to you know, call me biased. It's okay. I wouldn't give my. I don't give my dogs Chinese dog food. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chinese vitamin su supplement. What are they doing in our country? Yeah. Is it? That's an interesting question. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Do we yeah. know? Do people know that they're doing that, buying that? Well, I, I don't know if one realizes that product that's coming in from China. It's not always labeled. Made in China. Well, what do we think the, of good that? the good news is that we make all the Perigo products right in South Carolina. Right. So that, that's, you know, the way we approach this is make the products in South Carolina at our facility. Uh, there's some other companies that choose to import product in from China and other locations. But they're undercutting everything. That, that is true. That is true. That is true. I do believe over the long term that will get straightened out. Okay. Um, the biggest issue we've had really in the quarter was the fact that we have some new products that we expected to get, you know, right. earlier in the year and they've been delayed. And we'll you get said that you, you're, you're very we'll you said, look, the last part has slowed. Specifically, there's been some issues with the, we've seen with the growth rate. And what I'm trying to do is say, okay, well, that's what's in the stock. What's not in is Omega. What's not in is the, is the Biogen relationship, which is going to kick in by the end of the year. Yeah. And Biogen is doing a fabulous job with the drug we have a royalty on. Tysabri. Tysabri. It's, uh, they're doing, we think we've got an outstanding partner, and we think the product has a very long life. And it's for a really important indication for multiple sclerosis. Right. So for those reasons, we're very excited about that partnership. What will the company look like, legacy versus non? Non legacy uh, by 2016. Yeah. Well, we're continuing to grow. Uh, historically, right, I'm, not, I'm not saying, yeah. I, look, I love legacy. Yeah, yeah. This other stuff's harder for me to yeah, understand. Yeah. So, so we're going to add the, you know, we've added the Elon transaction. Right. Uh, we're, we're adding the Omega transaction. Uh, those together would be about 20% of our company. Okay. Uh, the rest of it, though, we're going to continue to do all the legacy things we've done. Before. But importantly, what's really important is we're going to continue to launch new products. Because the trends right. we talked about going back to the first time I was on the program, Jim, are still the same trend. We still have more products going from prescription right only to over the counter. And some that we don't even know whether uh, we talked about with Pfizer and Lipitor. And this. Yeah. I, I, look, I'm not putting that in the numbers. No, would that yeah. be? That, that's just a, an amazing that opportunity. That would be the holy grail yeah, opportunity. And I think you're not paying much for Pergo if that, if that turns out to be. <laughs> we, 
What, one with? last question. Um, do I, uh, the lawsuit, the Chinese, are these things that can be resolved within this year? I think to be the lawsuit, we'll expect to hear something uh, from the judge. I can't never make a comment right. on a legal but action. In 2015? Right? But, but I, I do think we'll hear something, yes, in, in the 2015 time frame. Um, but you can never make any promises when it goes into a court of law. Fair but we do, we do believe we're making good progress. For us, what's really important is getting these more products to move from prescription right. to over the counter. Absolutely. All right. Well, look, we're not, like I said, we're not paying a lot for the stock. It's down a lot from the year. And I think that's probably wrong. That's Joe, that's Joe Poppy. He's the president, chairman, and CEO of Perigo. PRGO, lots of stuff, a lot of different uh, releases, a lot of different conference calls that you can go listen to if you want to learn more about the story. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.